Feed me Goldberg. Ryback is hungry and he wants a match with Big Bill at AEW. All in. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. And I feel like we're going all in with the Ryback news lately. Made a video on him the other day. And now we're back with yet another Ryback video. You must think we've got some sort of love here for Ryback. But in all honesty, we do not. We actually cannot stand Ryback. I think the guy is an absolute retard. But uh, would I want to see Goldberg versus Ryback? That's the bigger question. No, I probably wouldn't want to see it. I would rather see Goldberg against the likes of... CM Punk, I've predicted that before. I think, let's be real, right? Ryback is nowhere near a star, and it doesn't fit the memo. Like Goldberg is, everyone knows who Goldberg is. It makes sense to bring Goldberg back. Ryback ended his WWE career like a bum. How, yeah. how would Ryback go into AEW be a big deal? I think the only, I don't think it would be. The only time Goldberg Ryback ever really made sense was when Ryback was getting that mega push, and he was getting all the comparisons to Goldberg, but. I mean, we're talking that's 10 years ago. That's a decade ago. Aye. The comparisons have died down now. We've realised that, you know, they're not really alike at all. And it's like, does anybody really want to see this? And the fact that Ryback has come out and challenged Goldberg to a retirement match. I mean, if Goldberg is going to have a retirement match and we know he wants one, I don't think it should be against Ryback. Like you said, there's, there's many bigger names. The AEW has not, like, pulled the trigger on, on these names that are available, like Goldberg. For example, I mean, Hogan. I mean, I've said Hogan could wrestle, but I think there's just other names out there that they could have potentially went and got. And what, they're going to go for Goldberg? No. No, not Goldberg. Ryback? Uh, Ryback? Ryback has got TNA written all over him. Impact Wrestling? Ah, yeah, Impact. Even they don't want him. No. Anyway, this is what Ryback had to say on Twitter. Even reading this hurts my brain. So this is what Ryback had to say about a potential match with Goldberg. And of course, he took an opportunity to take a dig at WWE, even though the other day he was basically saying that he wants his job back. So this is it. Ryback said, and I quote, Feed me Goldberg. Despite WWE illegally restricting my social media the last seven years, you great fans have kept me alive. We have a lot of work to do, but my story is just beginning. Lindy Ack and Elon Musk, the truth always wins, and my hunger will never be fulfilled. Hungry, feed me Goldberg. He's just a so monster, that didn't is like? what Ryback had to say. I mean, let's quickly address this whole illegally restricting my social media. I remember a few years ago, Ryback claimed that WWE put something on his account they like kept the WWE shadow banned his account so to speak and like we're not allowing him his account his accounts to like you know grow and gain fans and, and stuff like this and his tweets were being seen by less people and he blamed that on the WWE and he he was like suggesting that WWE were paying money to these big social media corporations to try and keep him down. I mean are you serious? I know that that's mad. Like why would they go to such such a level with Ryback? There's way more people they could have, like Hogan, for example. Not fucking Ryback. I mean, if WWE could do that, then wouldn't they just try and suppress all, all the competition? Wouldn't they suppress their Twitter accounts? Dude, Ryback's pathetic, man. This is all he's got mentioned, WWE. I mean, this That's guy... Pathetic. This guy... He, actually, he would suit AEW down to the ground. I, all he would do is mention fucking WWE. Yeah, this guy, this guy genuinely believes that WWE was working alongside Twitter to restrict his access and his growth on the platform. So, I mean, first of all, that is ridiculous. Second of all, I mean, do we, do we want to see this? I don't. He also says that Ryback and Goldberg will have the best story and be the most feud match with social media views and exceed all expectations. I don't want to watch. Goldberg would never be able to pick up Ryback, and I don't even think Ryback would probably be able to pick up Goldberg. Like, I mean, he says it will be the best story, First of all, what is the what is the story apart from the fact that you know they're both similar in sort of in like physique? They're both got bald heads. They both got like goatees slash beards, and Ryback's basically stolen all the guys' moves. That's the story. Yeah, no, that is no, that. Like there is no story. I mean, the the story is that who's going to be Dan Ryback's talking for? Because no one in AW can talk. <laughs> Tony can. 
<laughs> it's, it's it's not Goldberg. It's Ryback. You know, it's like the it's only back the, Rye. The only Ryback I care about is fucking Casey. Casey Rye. Casey Ryback's on this train under siege too, guys. If you've seen it, you've seen it. But yeah, no, for me. I'm not interested in seeing this. And for Ryback to claim it would be the most feud match was social media feuds. Why does he think this? I don't know. Why does Ryback have this like sort of delusional belief that he is somehow a megastar on social media and that people want to see Ryback? I haven't seen anybody demand Ryback. I haven't seen anybody ask for Ryback to come back. I don't think anybody gives a shit about Ryback personally. If you're a casual fan and not on like Twitter, like a wrestling nerd, you would not know about Ryback. I think you could argue most fans even forgot who he is. Even fans that were watching through that period. Like Ryback would be like 10 forgotten stars of the PG era. And he'd be like number one because he was like semi-main event at one point, but Peter out. And he thinks the match would exceed all expectations. Again, I'm going to have to disagree with this. Um, we've seen Goldberg versus Undertaker. And you can argue that Undertaker is, you know, a long way past his prime. But this Undertaker is a man that can carry a match, structure a match. And that match fucking sucked. And I get it. It might not have been down to just a, play, a basic match. Obviously, Goldberg had the, the concussion and that. But, I mean, we've seen some shocking Goldberg matches. And I don't think there is any expectations to begin with. But for Ryback to suggest that he somehow... Now, he didn't say he would carry Goldberg, but he says the match would exceed all expectations. And pretty much at this stage, nobody really expects anything from Goldberg. So Ryback is kind of insinuating here that he is going to carry Goldberg to a match that nobody could expect. And I, and I just don't see that. To me, this would be an absolute shit show. I mean, Ryback is literally just a guy that, just like Goldberg, he, it's just finisher after finisher after finisher. And Goldberg at this point in his career can't really perform his finishers anymore. Is it literally just going to be a spear fest? Like 10 spears in a row? Is that what we're going to get here? Yeah, it could be absolutely horrendous, man. And you know what? I would be surprised if both of them died. Yeah, so I mean, I just don't see this match happening. They just imagine Goldberg left and right back. Never. And see, he goes for, what's his move called? The shell shock? Mm -hmm. Imagine that. Plus, Ryback's a bit of a botcher himself. I mean, how is he going to be wrestling a 58-year-old like Goldberg? The, the, the best... The person to get a match out of Goldberg in AEW is probably like one of the fucking flippy guys. Because they could sell for Yeah, him. they can sell for him. Like, I mean, I agree with that. As yeah. pish as that is. Probably. That's that's the sad reality. Yeah. Like right. Adam Cole. Or a Christian who can still go. Like, Christian would get a good Dude, match out like of Goldberg. Christian fucking had the retirement. Do you want Goldberg to kill him? <laughs> that's true. I don't know how many I don't know how many jackhammers and how many spears Christian can take, but yeah, now Goldberg. Uh, especially when he's landing on his neck. Goldberg and AW. I don't need to see it. Nobody really wants to see it. If this match was going to happen, it would have happened ten years ago. It's not going to happen now. And if it does happen, it's going to be a fucking disaster. That's pretty much it, isn't it? So there you go, guys. That's it. Let me know your thoughts. Do you want to see it? Do you have any interest in this? Let us know in the comments. We'll catch you in the next one. And of course, until next time. Well, his hunger be fed. Well, Ryback face off against Bill Goldberg. Hopefully not. I mean, think of all the retirement matches Goldberg could have. It can't be against this guy. It really can't be. That's it, guys. Let us know down below who you would like to see Goldberg retire against, or would you just rather not see Goldberg wrestle again? Let us know in the comments. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.